hello friends how are you all today i will tell you about the the one of the most debated topic nowadays in the maritime business that is port shipping logistics and all the business concerned with the maritime sector the so the dry port delivery is the concept in which the cargo coming at the port or any say container or any any goods that comes to a port directly get the delivered to a customer without any interference of any freight station so friend why is this this topic is is an debated one so the reason is if the, the cargo directly delivers to a customer then the business of the container freight station will dent of course it will get down and they will not get any revenue so the topic is debated one so today i will tell you about what is the direct port delivery and how it is working in the port area so keep watching this video today i will tell you about this so the concept is direct port delivery has been introduced to cut down the dwell time and the transaction cost by moving the containers direct from the port to the customer instead of routing them via CFS but the CFS operators claim they are well equipped to dispatch cargo quickly and do not add to the logistic time and cost while DPD will surely dent their business as I told you before that they will surely dent the business as the cargo will not come contain a frustration and shuffle there to sustain CFS will have to align with the changing pattern of the trade and be open to functioning as warehouses as well as for customer to store cargo so the if the cargo doesn't goes to a CFS then the rest over the work only keeps of warehousing the CFS will only term as warehouses and there will be no cargo uh, shuffling or stripping or any allied activities at the container first station so they will only do the warehousing activity so they are in the risk of losing the business activities and the sharing of revenue so in such cases it is known as direct delivery so when does direct delivery happen the container could be carrying certain high risk hazardous cargo such as explosive radioactive material cargoes and generally any of the ports that accept such cargo to be discharged or loaded do so only on the condition that the discharge or load is done on a direct delivery basis this is to minimize the risk of any accident that might occur at the port due to the volatile nature of the cargo the exporter or the importer that deals with such cargo normally has to secure permission from the various government bodies like the police military fire department etc normally hazmat people are also in standby during such operations any heavy or abnormal cargo that cannot be handled twice at the port due to the nature of the cargo in which the case it is directly offloaded onto the truck that will carry the cargo to its final destination so for in, in short the direct port delivery is nothing but the case when the directly loaded onto the ship from the truck or the cargo directly loaded onto the ship from the truck meaning it doesn't get offloaded at the container yard in the port as it normally done with other containers directly discharge onto the truck from the ship is the second instance when the truck is directly discharged discharge from the ship or the vice versa ship to a truck and a truck to a ship meaning it doesn't get shuffled to container yard as is normally done with other containers so these are two possibility in which the direct port delivery concept revolves around okay friends so now you have got the great idea about direct port delivery so keep watching share like subscribe comment for anything else you want thank you